Hey guys, Jonathan Graham here. Today I'm going to be showing you this new box that I designed. These are them right here. This is a, my, I call this my divided box. It's this origami box, square box with two compartments. And this is all from one uncut square of paper. It even has a color change for the divider and inside the bottom. This is a six inch square. This is, I think, about an eight inch square. Eight and a quarter inch, maybe. This is from a ten inch square. This is actually the size we're going to be making today that I'll be showing today. And this one here is from a 12 inch square. So this is my divided box. I'm going to be using this. This is actually from Duo Paper, this one. That's why it's purple here. And we're going to be making the size like this green one. We're going to be using a 10 inch square of Kami, which is this size right here. So here we go. I'm going to take my paper. It's pretty big here, but this is the easiest. There's a lot of folds and everything. We're going to first divide it into thirds. And because this is a larger square, to make it a little easier to see in the camera, well, I'll we'll just do the same other way. We're going to just make an S shape here. There we go. A little harder to do with the larger square and keeping it in frame, but this model has quite a bit of creases, and I want to make sure that you can all see what's going on. I think with a six inch, it should be a little bit hard to see. So first, we're going to divide it into thirds one way, like this. I just make an S shape. I'll just make sure I'm in frame here and pinch it. Sharply and then unfold. Now with the white side facing up, we're just going to fold our thirds all the way through here. And this is a little, this will be easier to show than the six inch square. Because there are some small detail creases that will be coming later. That's why I'm using a larger square. I prefer to use a six inch smaller squares, but for some things like this, it's a little easier to do with the, to show with larger squares. So we have it in thirds one direction. I'm going to unfold both of them. And now we're going to fold it in thirds the other way. And now this one I'm going to actually show you how to fold in thirds another method. Or actually we'll just keep it the same way here. Again, go the other way now. Fold your paper into thirds. Lining up the ends. Make sure you line them up the best you can because the more even you got it, the better box. The more evenly you do this, the better results you'll have. And now I'm going to fold this third in. We're going to make a 3x3 three three grid. Again, the white side is up, as you can see. Crease sharply, unfold them, and now you can see we have this 3x3 three three grid. Now we're going to actually turn this face down so the, color, or sorry, so the color side is up, and we're going to fold this square in half. But we're only going to go one, one way. We're just going to fold it in half like this. And unfold. And now we're going to do some more pre-creasing. Actually, before we get too far, I'm actually going to turn this back face up, the white side. And on these two sides, you can see our half mark here, I'm going to fold this edge to the third, folding in a sixth. And this is for... This, bo this model requires... I'm going to do the same on the other side. Fold a sixth in. And unfold. Now we're going to turn it back over so the red side is up. And now on the sides here where the half mark, the, the, this line is the middle creases, this square, just in this square, we're going to make a diagonal going like this to this. So the easiest is basically one of our thirds. So we're going to fold this up. So I'm just going to take the corner and bring it up to the third there. And on this side, I'm going to crease. And now we're going to make the other diagonal. We're making an X shape in that one third section, one ninth of our square, because there's one, two, three. And you know, because it's divided in thirds. Now we're going to go to the side right opposite it. I'm going to turn it 180 degrees here. And I'm going to do the same on this square, but only in this square. Line up my creases so that this raw edge lines up with the third mark here. And this crease right here should end up on that third, re third mark right there. Again, you're only going to crease inside the square. Same thing here, basically folding this center square. down like this. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to flip this over now to the white side, and now we're going to take, turn it so that we're going to now do a crease, the same thing on these squares, but with the white side facing up. And this is going to actually make the compartments. So this time, the white side up, we're going to do the X's on the other two squares that don't have the line going through. And you'll see why that we are doing it this way in a little bit. So once we've done that, same thing, X on each square, lining up the raw edge to the third mark. 
Now we're going to turn this over again, and now we're going to make, we're going to basically bisect this angle. You can see we have this crease and we have this vertical third mark. We're going to bring this vertical crease onto this part. The crease is going to start here and it's going to bisect this angle. So I'm going to fold this over, making my pinch there, and I'm going to line this up so this lines up on the diagonal crease and crease all the way through. Unfold, we're going to do the same on this side. Bring this up, get your crease started, and then line up the edge. And you can see how this edge, this crease, lines up on the crease underneath. Unfold, and so we have this sort of trapezoid shape. Now we're going to do the same on this other side. Again, fold it up. Crease. This model requires quite a bit of pre-creasing, and we're going to do the same on this side. You're going to line it up here, and you're going to make sure the crease lands on the, the this lines up with that one on the diagonal, and unfold. The pre-creasing is getting close to the end now. Now we're going to turn this face up, white side up, and now we're going to make another crease going across here. Now where are we going to crease it? If you see, we have this kind of pentagon shape, or like a, yeah, kind of like a funny shaped pentagon. You can see right at these two corners of the pentagon where these creases intersect, that's where our crease is going to go. So I'm just going to start my fold. To make sure I'm in frame here so you can see. And then I'm just going to make sure I line up the crease on both sides and crease it all the way through and unfold. So you can see how it basically goes right through this little pentagon here and across to the end. So we're going to turn it around the other side. Again, we have this sort of pentagon slash sort of diamond shape. Again, it's going to, the crease is going to be right where these inter creases intersect here, where the diagonals intersect those other creases. And make sure when you fold this over is to make sure it's nice and even all the way across or else your um, box may not be, may not work out perfectly. Now we're going to unfold and now we're getting closer to the end now. We're going to get a preliminary crease. We're going to fold this up like an accordion, like this. And you can see we already have a crease. This is all on, pre on, on existing creases. We're going to fold this up on these existing creases, sort of like this. Make almost like a, a wall. This is going to actually be our divider right here. And just sharpen the crease well because we're going to um, need that later. And then again on this side, make sure you're doing it on the same side. So again, you can see the thing will kind of fold up, make almost kind of a bookshelf, well it's a little hard to see that way, but there, kind of like a bookshelf look to it. And now we're going to do another crease. We're going to take, we're going to fold on this, or no, it's, it's all on the same creases now. We're going to fold in on this existing crease and on that existing crease. And now you can see we have this, we're going to lift this up and you can see there's an angled crease right there. You're just gonna, we're just gonna flatten this down and do a squash fold. And this is on the right side. So we're gonna turn it 180 degrees and remember, we're gonna do it on the same side, on the right side again. So again, fold it on the diagonal and then the, this crease here, Mountain Valley. Again, you can see this crease here as well. We're gonna lift up here on this existing crease and flatten. And now you can see we have this kind of shape, so they're both on the same side. Now we're going to kind of go on the ends here and just kind of reshape our divider. Okay, now we're going to actually start building the box. Um, this, we're going to make a reverse fold right here. It should be, the creases should already be there. And now we're going to fold this down on the existing crease behind this wall. So it folds down behind the wall and the wall will rest right in front. And we'll just make sure we have a crease here. This is a corner of the box right here. So we have something like this. Now I'm gonna turn it, 180, turn it to the other side, 180 degrees from the, on the 180 degree rotation from the other one. And again, I'm just going to reverse this fold. It's already, the crease is already there. And once again, we're gonna fold this down on the crease. This triangle will just sit behind this other flap here. Sharpen it well, and again, just make the corner there. 
you can see we have the divider of our box and we have two of the sidewalls of our box. So now we're going to finish the sidewalls and actually make the compartments. So this is a little bit more, this actually isn't too hard. I'm just going to reinforce, hope you can see there, the crease. And you can see we have this, we're going to kind of do like a concertina fold like that. But before we do that, I'm just going to take this flap, fold it down in there as far as it will go. I'm now going to take the bottom here and make a little accordion fold. This is on existing creases. And we're going to lift up this inner flap just a little bit so that that accordion fold folds underneath and is nicely trapped inside. And now this has an existing crease, this flap. We're going to tuck this flap into this pocket. And that will form the boxer. This is not a very, this is a more complicated model. That's the phone ringing, but. This model is more challenging than some of the others, so you might... Okay. There's one compartment finished. Now we're going to rotate it to this other side. Again, just take this flap here and just fold it down on the existing crease. And take your time to make sure it's exactly down in there. And now we're going to make the bottom, so I'm going to just show you one more time. You can see there's the valley fold and the mountain fold. There should automatically almost just flip up like this. Sort of like a little accordion fold there. And once again, you're going to lift this up a bit to tuck that underneath, that trapping that extra fold underneath. And you can see how our box is almost finished now. I'm just going to fold this over on itself and just sharpen the corner. And once again, you're going to tuck this flap into the pocket on the corner, therefore forming the other corner and compartment of the box. And at that point, you can just go around and just flatten everything down nice, all the layers, because there are several layers in, in this, uh, the layers of the material, or the paper rather. And there is the completed divided box from one uncut square of paper, no cutting, no gluing, with a color change divider, in two compartments. Um, it's a pretty cool model, it was a little bit more challenging, but hope you guys are able to make that. I mean, I've got a whole bunch of them here, it's all the other ones. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next video.